hello and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm coming at you with another booktube booktube book haul um i know i said in my last video that i was gonna stop doing them and go on a three month spending ban and since i've said that i have bought 40 books so well i have only spent 24 pound 60 on all 40 of these books so i'm going to show you what i've got first of all i need to show you this collection if you follow me on instagram you'll have already seen these but i picked up pretty much all of the books in the morganville vampires series um actually no that's a lie i'd already picked up book three um which was in a buy one get one free or something but yeah <laughs> I picked up these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. They were seventy pence each, and buy one get one free. But I just paid three pound fifty for the whole lot. Next, I will go on to my books that I bought for a pound. So I got Nigella Lawson's Simply Nigella. I absolutely love Nigella. I want to look like her when I'm her age so cooking from her book is always a good idea i then have another pile here oh. so all of these were a pound each i picked up jacqueline wilson's little stars um i picked this up because i'm trying to collect all of the jacqueline wilson's that i didn't read when i was a child i picked up this arc copy of kicking the bucket list I had heard Emily from Novelle Novels read this and really enjoy it, so when I saw that, I had to pick it up. I picked up Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird because this was a book that I read at school and absolutely loved and really want to reread it. So I haven't put this is my shelf of my red books. I haven't put that on there because I do want to reread it soon. I then picked up Page Toon's One Perfect Christmas. I need to start buying Christmas books because there's no way that I'm going to read them all in December. May have to start kind of mid-November. But I wanted to read a Page Toon and so I got that. I picked up Rosie Loves Jack, which I basically fell in love with because of the cover. But it says, Rosie Loves Jack, Jack Loves Rosie, so when they're separated, Rosie will do anything to find the boy who makes the sunshine in her hand, even run away from home. Even struggle across London and travel to Brighton, though the trains are cancelled and the snow is falling. I just love anything that's England-based. I've been reading quite a few books that are set in the States recently, and I just can't really get my head into them. The next one I picked up was Tanya Catton's um, My One Night Stand with Cancer. As you all know, last month I read A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to Chemo and I didn't really get the kind of own voices dealing with cancer story that I was hoping for, so I've got high hopes for this one. And the last book that I picked up for a pound was The Shoe Queen by Anna Davis. I don't know anything about this. Um, I literally just picked it up because I was feeling crappy and wanted a book to make me feel better so that is that books were all in some kind of deal um so i will talk you through them um firstly twice this month i've been to the scope shop in leicester and all their books are a pound and buy one get one free and on the first trip i picked up convenience store woman which i've already read and spoiler alert i really enjoyed it um i've seen a lot about this on booktube so for 50p i wasn't going to leave it and so I got a Sophie Kinsella book because I love Sophie Kinsella, but I've only ever read her Shopaholic series. So that I wanted that one and that was to get that one free. And then the next time I went into that shop, I saw this, which I'm sure again, I've seen on booktube and it is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. It's Pride and Prejudice with Zombies. What more can I say? And I then picked up Then by Morris Gleetzman. There wasn't a lot there that day to get for free, so that was what I ended up with. Then I went to Colville, and next door to each other are two Loras shops. There's Loras and the Loras Children's. Now, in the main Loras shop, the books are three for a pound at the moment. So I picked up The Tent, The Bucket and Me, my family's disastrous attempts to go camping in the 70s. I've been really feeling kind of summery books at the moment. Um, so yeah, 
I then picked up Ali Smith's Autumn, which I will be reading as soon as the leaves start falling off the trees. That is going to be high up on my TBR. And then I couldn't really find anything that I really wanted as my third book. So I just picked up Alan Bennett's The Lady in the Van. Um, I've seen the film and think it is brilliant. And then in the last children's shop, across books and DVDs, it was three, no, five for a pound. Um, so I got two DVDs, which are Coraline and the Haunted Mansion, just to make up the deal, because there weren't that many books that I wanted. But these two... I've wanted to get even if I couldn't have found anything else I would have just got these two and given them the pound and they are the Judy Bloom books I've never read Judy Bloom but a lot of people have said these were the kind of Jacqueline Wilson's of the people growing up in America so I've got here's to you Rachel Robinson and are you there god it's me Margaret and I intend to pick up those very soon I've not let myself read any of these books I mean apart from convenient store woman but I only read that because it was in my bag and I was on the bus and I started reading it but I've been trying to put these aside until I film this video and then start reading so they are going to be next on my TBR and also in that deal I picked up Jackie Daydream which I didn't actually know is a story of Jacqueline Wilson's childhood so again cannot wait to dig into that a pile of books that were all 50 pence each this first one is Our Sung by Danny Atkins another one that is going straight to the top of my TBR um, because so many people since I put this on Instagram have said to me you need tissues what an amazing book etc etc this one, I literally went to the co-op because we needed bread and they have a little donation bit and it was just there, so I had to get it. I then picked up the Yorkshire Vet from the Marling Mead Centre charity shop because it has a dog on the front. I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to justify these because there is no justification, is there? I then picked up Alfie, the doorstop cat because it has a cat on the front and I like anything about cats I picked up The Girl Who Played With Fire um, I'm a bit annoyed actually because I don't know if I picked up the wrong one I was in this shop and they had quite a few of the Larson books and I thought that this one was in mint condition and it's not so whether there was one that was mint condition and I got sidetracked I don't know anyway then I went into Leicester and in the Samaritan shop I picked up Blubber by Judy Bloom so I think I've maybe got oh I think there's eight in the collection I've got three so I've got five more of these to collect um but yeah and then I've been talking to a lady in another charity shop who had recommended the MC Beaton books for me so I thought I would buy Death of an Outsider and see how I get on with that they're quite short reads they're 246 pages um, and then if I do like them look at that for a collection that I'll have to collect we all know I'm a collector by now and then these <laughs> these are from three different Laura shops I got the couple next door which is a thriller I got Delirium, which I've seen a few times, and there was just something about it that drew me in. I don't know whether it's the girl on the front, or it's probably because I work in the NHS and it's been big on Delirium recently. I then got The Truths and Triumphs of Grace Atherton, which is this beautiful um, shimmery colour, and I just love the spine of that. And then oh, the last two I've got here, I think, are probably my two most exciting buys of the month, which, out of everything I've got, oh, and last two, actually, there's three more. Let me show you this one first. Um, I got The Hate You Give, and this was 10 pence from a shop in Colville. I mean, 10 pence for a book. Can you see why I can't resist? So yes, the last two. First of all, I picked up Stiff by Mary Roach. Again, once I put this on my Instagram, a lot of people have said how good it is or how much they want to read it. I am obsessed with what happens after death and life after death. So The Curious Lives of Human Cadavers was not one that I was going to let go. And then the last one is a hardback. And I don't normally buy hardback books. So this even surprised me. But this was from an Age UK bookshop, 
which I don't play a lot from as it's a bit more curated so they're a bit more expensive but I picked up Raw by Cecilia Ahern and this is a short story collection of 30 women 30 stories and I just really wanted to get into that so again I keep I've said that about five of these are going to the top of my TBR haven't I um, if you check my Instagram today, I will put a picture of which I've decided I'm going to get through next. But I'm pretty sure this one's going to be on it. So that's all. That is a speedy little roundup of the, I think, 40 books that I bought for under £25 this month. If you like this video, I'm not going to lie, there are going to be more hauls. We, we all know that, but I am going to try and slow it down a little bit. But when the charity shops just keep providing such a good quality book so cheap, I can't resist. I'm hopefully, this bookshelf literally finishes here. Um, and I'm hoping to go and pick up a bookshelf that I've seen on Facebook Marketplace, which a lovely lady is giving away for free. And that will replace this one. This one will go over there. And, oh, I need more space. But I've got the space. It makes me happy. And I'm supporting the charities. So until next time, please like and subscribe and look after yourselves.